Blackhawks Stanley Cup celebration was over less than two minutes into the 2016 season. That's when the Rangers' Oscar Lindbergh scored the first goal. But players insist this isn't a case of a championship hangover. I actually didn't think we had that bad of a, bad of a start. Just six months after surgery took her entire left leg, Foster was back on this beam. Five-year-old Lily Spencer thought she was here at Rivet Stadium today to throw out the ceremonial first pitch, and she did. What she did not know is that her dad, Captain Greg Spencer, had just returned from a tour of duty in the Air Force and was lurking in the third base dugout directly over my shoulder. Free throws was the only thing he struggled with and maybe your team struggled with. How important is that for the rest of the season and how do you correct the free throw game? I, I really wish that I knew. This team is doing more than just striking out batters. They throw First, balls onto the, the ground and have line. guys try to pick them up, slide, get used First to the conditions. The Comeback player of the year doesn't even begin to describe Trevion Sockwell. Next Friday, the senior will play his first game on this turf since being diagnosed with leukemia. A lot of schools in the Midwest and stadiums have gone to this artificial turf here. Some football players claim it was more than just a game that they lost that Saturday. The Byron girls basketball team came out with a suffocating defense and never let up, cruising to a 30-point victory. However, head coach Eric Yearly knows if they're going to hoist that state championship trophy tomorrow, there's no time to celebrate. Speaking of trophies, after a big win in New York, the Blackhawks took a visit to the White House to celebrate their Stanley Cup win last year and they may have celebrated a little too hard gearing up for Minnesota. Outdoor hockey. Bears, cheeseheads. Mike McCarthy was quoted as saying they'd kick the Bears, you know what. But Matt Forte had other ideas. This one yard touchdown run plus another buck 40 on the ground today. And less Aaron Rodgers is always a good thing for a defense. Bears up 13 and 10 at half, second half. And here comes A-Rod finding a familiar face to finish the pack's first drive. Oakland didn't work out, couldn't cut it in the Big Apple, but James Jones is feeling right at home back with Green Bay. A good drive, Bears threatening. You can't teach an old dog new tricks, and you can't teach Jay Cutler to not throw it to the other team. Sticking it, a golden phrase for any gymnast, and the reason why 17-year-old Kate Foster is back in the gym every day. I'm just doing what I love. I mean, it's strange when people come up to me and say, oh, you're an inspiration. Oh, right. that was a good fight. Next month, Foster is heading to Florida for nationals in what will be this Rockford native's final competition three years into her mission. She's a competitor. Foster was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia five years ago. The then 12-year-old was enduring bone marrow transplants and chemotherapy, but a bacterial infection soon developed. Life would never be the same. There's always that thought in the back of your mind, like, what if I can't go back? I'd opened up my drawer for, full of leotards and it just started crying. I mean, I missed it so much. Just six months after surgery took her entire left leg, Foster was back on this beam. Now she's taking her balancing act to our nation's capital. This is cooler than being a one-legged athlete. You know, this, you could make a difference doing this. Next week, Congress is expected to discuss childhood cancer, survivorship, treatment, access, and research, known as the STAR Act. Foster will be there advocating for funding on behalf of the St. Baldrick's Foundation. They haven't figured out, you know, the cure or treatment for that kind of cancer yet, and that's terrible. There's nothing for them. They die. I don't want that to happen anymore. Over the top and keep your head in. Maybe just as important as her physical training, Foster's coaches say Kate is stronger mentally than she ever has been. We were like begging her, come on Kate, let us help you. She'd be like, no, I got this. That was the approach she took with the cancer. Get deductive for some of the stuff because, you know, my leg's not where it should be or I have to have a coach spot something. But I've kind of realized it doesn't matter anymore. You know, I'm doing what I love and that's what's important and I'm inspiring people and that's what's important too. Some deductions are just unavoidable. Foster tells me she had to accept reality when her leg went flying in the middle of an uneven bars routine. Yep, on the TiVo. So we all got to watch it once before it Freeze frame went Instagram away. It. Okay. <laughs> yep. Kate says she's happy to put crucial training on hold for such a good cause. In Rockford, Eric O'Brien, 23 News. Oh, yeah. A shocking day ends in a headband. A bright orange badge of honor respected almost anywhere you go. So why is it worn with such pride? So we just run like this. <laughs> run, run, and run some more. 
a little bit more running than I expected, but uh, but we, we pushed through. Lack of cardio starts kicking in because that's my weak point. Mud, mud, and mud some more. I just slipped off and then everyone just came everyone crashing came down. Toppling down. Everyone. Add in a few insane military obstacles. About 50 feet from the end of the, the total thing, he, I guess, got shocked, fell, and broke his ankle. Better make that 20, and you have your recipe for Rockford's first Tough Mudder. You go into shock right away, you come out of it, you have to climb over a wall, and you dunk right back into water, and your body starts freaking out. <laughs> it brings thousands of people from all over the world. Switzerland, Brazil. Strangers or not, everyone lends a helping hand. And you were it helping people and there was fun. an instant bond. It yeah. was so cool. We picked up some extra teammates on the way. So. We yeah. did, we, and that yeah. was really fun. And we got two extra tutus. teammates. More than 10 miles pushes us to our physical limits, but the course is equally demanding on mental strength. Sometimes, you just have to take that leap of faith. <laughs> Failed, guys. Missed the bell by that much and uh, Smack the water pretty hard. I don't know if you can see that redness, but uh, yeah, that's that's scary. That's definitely mind over mutter. Go! Go! But accept the challenge like us mutterers, and I promise, victory is oh so sweet. The two-day event is expected to bring more than three million dollars for our area. Volunteers say a portion of the proceeds help Wounded Warrior Project and. The Gustafson's Football Frenzy starts right now. Welcome to the Football Frenzy brought to you by Gustafson's Furniture and Mattress. I'm Eric O'Brien. First play from scrimmage and number 25 goes 54 yards to the house, leaving a mark on his way. Sanchez digging around third. He is hosed at the plate. Christian Yelich's throw is on the money and that's your ball game. Riz would more than atone for that air earlier. Bottom eight, down three, better make it two. Get off me ball. Anthony's third hit and third RBI of the night. And uh, this is how you know it's your day. Flax shanks his drive right in the thick stuff, but check out where his ball ends up. Kevin gets a relief from that, and he is able to salvage par there. So all that's left to do, sink this putt on 18. Last chance for the Bears from 50 yards out, and Robbie Gold is to go up 58 to 55, but Cameron Kohlberg has clutch running through his veins. Freeport looking like they might have a shot at the state title. Senior Megan Drake and lefty's motto is no pins left behind. The wild strike again when Thomas Vanek gets the stick down. Deflection slips in. This game would just snowball from there. Actually, Michael Roosevelt was ejected for this hit as well, and the Blackhawks get crushed much like Roosevelt, uh, six to one. But the moment of the weekend belonged to the old timers yesterday. Old Man River. Check out Troy Murray with the nasty move. He went right. That's right, he didn't go straight. And it fooled the goalie, but he'll take it. The Stars won the game, however.